trading Discord channels. They're a great place for conversing with like-minded people and also very knowledgeable people. Unfortunately, they're also the breeding ground for trolls and people who like hiding behind fake accounts with the only goal of being disruptive and having hidden agendas, although most of them are quite clearly not hidden. We had a recent occasion whereby someone behind one of these fake accounts managed to get a copy of my odds analyzer software. This was obtained legitimately from an open Discord channel, but it is what happened next which I found disgusting. This was free software which I created for my own means. The person had doctored the installer to make it look like it was from another software trading group and then uploaded the file to a free file sharing platform. I do have the screenshots of this, but I've chosen not to show them. If you want to see them, visit the Guru Buster Discord channel so you can get the full context. Why this person thought they were entitled to just do what they wanted with someone else's work beggars belief. But some people in this area think they can walk on water when in reality they just need to grow up. The Odds Analyzer project had come to a standstill. Although a great tool, it was restrictive and I was finding it hard to do what I wanted to do with it. You could only have one market loaded at a time, which although is good, was somewhat limited. Uh, but due to the actions of this fake account, it actually sparked my interest again in resurrecting this project. I decided it was time to rewrite the odds analyzer from the ground up and more importantly, improve it greatly. As well as a rewrite, a rebrand was also required. So after weeks of brainstorming and hard work, I can now reveal the lessons in logic market data viewer. If you want to purchase CGM Bet, you can now do so from our own link. This will get you a significant discount off the current list price of the software. Just go to the link on the screen and also in the description of this video or the links section from our YouTube homepage to make your purchase and join many of the users of this excellent betting and trading tool. Purchasing CGM Bet also gives you access to many free Lessons in Logic software applications such as the Power BI dashboards, the Lessons in Logic simulator and the Lessons in Logic market data viewer. This tool looks similar to the old one in lots of places, but it also behaves differently in many others. As you would expect, it works closely with CGM Bet using data from this system to service the goal times and final score, a new feature from the previous version. We'll demonstrate that in a short while. Before that, let's take a look at the interface. It now looks fresher and the software design has made it easier to add new features in future versions. We've decoupled the unzipping and decoding of the data files. This is to give people peace of mind as the component we used in the odds checker was giving some AV software a hard time. It was perfectly clean but historically was tarnished by its involvement in other less desirable software. Now we have our own standalone application which does exactly the same but without the drama that some users faced. Now we have our decoded and renamed folders, we can go and select a game. We've picked the Premier League game between Wolves and Leicester, which was played on the 26th of April in 2025. And what we've also done is we've created a CSV file with all of the goal info for this season's Premier League games up to the beginning of May. We can create this file for any league and we can even add cup games to this file if we can find a data source with the relevant information in it. The flexibility is all there. So as you can see now, we've just got one JSON file with all of the information in. The old odds analyzer, we were just bringing back every single market individually. And um, I say that would only allow us to load one at a time. You can see that we've got 65 markets loaded here for this particular match. Adding 65 markets to one screen would have looked messy. So we have tabs along the top to split them out. So for each market, we've got the runner, kept the terminology neutral for reasons we'll see shortly. And we can also see the last price traded on each of these events and the how many updates they, there were to the odds in the data set that we've got and the status of each bet. So in this one we can see 3-0 to Wolves was the winner and Wolves were also the winner in the match market. And a new feature in this software is that we can now resize the window. So as you can see if we scroll down we've got these other markets here but if we just drag the bottom corner there then we can move them across and you can see that the tabs along the top are moving on to another line if needed and we can maximize that and we can now get everything onto the one screen. So to view a market we simply double click on it so we'll select the match odds in this instance so we can see that the market that we're in what the event is and now we've got the full time and the half time score information in here and the times of the home goals and if there's any away goals we've got the times of those as well. Uh, as in the previous version, we've got the time uh, of day when the event happened and we've got the odds for each of the selections in the market. 
and if we continue to scroll down then we can see here that we get some times in bold and what those times are is the approximate time that the goal was scored so 33 minutes this game kicked off at two o'clock GMT so it's still I think it's an hour out from the BST three o'clock kickoffs that's something I haven't fixed yet and you can see here that um, the odds did actually change a minute earlier so from 176 to 125 as we can't be certain this that this data is not in the Betfair data this is independent from CGM bet then we can see it's only an approximate time but we can kind of see what happened around here and also as well we don't know exactly how much injury time was played how long half time was so the next goal again is an approximation so you can see here we we're six minutes out so there was probably a lot of injury time there at the end of the first half we are allowing 18 minutes in the software for half time and injury time but it, again it indicates the area the goal was it's not 100 percent and whereas that one is looks like it's pretty much spot on with the third goal so that's the first big improvement we've got in the software the second one is the graphs so we'll just select a selection of the game and with wolves and it's a graph it tells you the time there so it's a half hour graph in this occasion and that's pretty much what we can do on the old version uh, what we can do now is we can select one or as many of the runners in the market and we can display them all on the same graph now we can only do that for the full 90 minutes in the last version and invariably one of the selections was 1.01 .01 and one was a thousand so you've got a graph along the bottom, which in the last few minutes just zoomed up to the top, which was pretty useless. Um, this one now, we can plot all of the runners, or as many as we want. So if you want to take the draw out, for example, um, then we've just got Wolves and Leicester on the, on the grid. If you want to take Leicester out, but put the draw back in, then we've now just got Wolves in the draw on the grid. So it's all very flexible. And as before, if you just hover over each of these markers, then you can see what the odds were at that moment in time. Uh, we'll see the graphs in more detail when we look at correct school trading in a short while. The trading calculator has also had an upgrade. In the graph runner selection, select the uh, team that you want to trade. So we'll go for Leicester in this instance, and also the time of the game. So we'll go 228 when Leicester's odds were 620. And uh, if we go into the trading calculator, then it's saying the run is Leicester. Starting odds, it's pulled them as to what we've clicked, so 6.2. And we can change these rounds. So if we want to lay Leicester at 6.2 for a stake of £10, and we're going to back them when the odds get to 10, for example, with 2% commission. Then again, it tells us what our profit would be in that situation. And again, if we was to back them at 6.2 and lay them at 10, then also it tells us what our loss would be in that instance as well. Uh, drip stakes has made a comeback as well. So if we add a drip entry, so if we go for odds of six for a stake of two pounds, seven for two pounds, eight for a pound, nine for a pound, what is that? that gives us six, and we'll put 10 for four pounds. And we're gonna do a lay on this for odds of 10. What it tells us is that the average odds are 8.3 we've backed for 10 pounds and because we've backed then obviously we're at a loss here of one pound 70. if we'd have laid that with a view to backing then it also now tells us what the odds were what the state was also what the liability is for us at 73 pounds and the potential profit on that so that's a, an enhancement on the previous version Exporting grid works in exactly the same way as the previous version. Uh, you can export the entire game or we can make a selection of times there and just export those. And currently it exports all the markets and the times into a CSV file, which can then be used in Excel or Google Sheets. And you can play around and make your own graphs and do what you want with the data um, in those applications. So we're looking more detail at correct score because this is something where the graphs didn't work on the previous version. So we can see now we've got all of the odds pretty much on the on the screen at the same time. And if we just take a few of the odds, so we'll, first of all, we'll select a few minutes here, select the first 15 minutes of the game. We'll take 0-0, 0-1, 1-0 nil, and 1-1. One, one. And there we can see all of those on the screen at the same time. 
and if you really wanted to then we, we could bring them all on so if we take the any others out then it gives us a little bit more a meaningful graph but um you probably wouldn't want to share them all at once but um it's there if you do want to so it's uh, it's entirely up to you how you use that one and also the, the trading calculator we've now got this correct score dutching and it brings in the starting odds for the all, all of the goals so if we go nil 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 one one nil one 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 two for a stake of 10 pounds and we put two percent commission then it tells us we've got nearly 33 percent of the book covered with these dutchies uh, we'd win ten pounds with a guaranteed profit of nineteen ninety four. Stick another one in, and that changes. Take one out, and again it, it recalculates itself very quickly. So we'll quickly go through the other tabs just to show you what we've got in here. So we've got, obviously got the overs and unders in here, um, and all the functionality works before. So we've got the the boldness there for the goal time. So if we do that, and we put both of those on, and you can see there how the graphs react to, to a goal uh, so that'll be the first goal and we can do the same same with the 3.5 market so we'll, we'll bring those in both goals and that's how the odds react when the goal goes in in, in that market we also got handicaps and we can, we can do the graphs on that should we want to not a very interesting graph that one uh, we've got goals so both teams to score first half goals uh, that's normally a good one for people to trade so it's all in there again and it's so it's all graphed up the trading calculator if we go over 0 0.5 goals at half an hour for example uh, odds of 244 so it brings that through for us for us to do our what if analysis um, first player goal scorer uh, it's, I wouldn't look at the these, this data too much for those because there's a lot of nothing in there i mean if you want the graph i mean uh, we can just see how we, the odds move for for him to score the first goal um so it's got some use um it's not the most user-friendly of grids at the moment admittedly but the the market's there so we brought it in corners and cards um obviously not trading that often we can see that from the number of updates the odds have had um other markets uh, a double chance maybe I want to look at draw no bet as well um leicester plus one quite a lot of data in there so leicester plus one wolves minus one match odds on over two and a half so we've got all the markets pretty much that are on betfair covered in here now the half time score and half time full time and say so the player markets there's, there's tons of these again it's probably just for information really um there's not a lot of action on these maybe player to score it's not even not even got that much and again, there's so many players in there, it's um, it's a little bit unreadable. But we we'll look at Strand Larson because he he was one of the winners. And there you go, there's his graph again. So it's there if you want it, as is any other market in Betfair. So you've got the flexibility now to use what you want um, without any limitations. As with the old odds analyzer, this also works with other sports too. Cricket is another popular sport to trade. We had the match markets in the old version, but we now have other markets too, giving you everything you'd need to analyse this game from a trading perspective. And it's got the same functionality as before, as you'd expect. So we'll select a portion of the time. And there's the graphs for all outcomes in that almost hour uh, slot. The trading calculator again, so if you want the draw, uh, 644, odds of 6.8, then it comes through. So... Software's consistent. Everything that football does, cricket can do too. Tennis was another sport we previously had. That is here too. Exactly the same as cricket. All markets, all functionality. So simple to use. Future versions will include more sports as and when we see fit. So as you can see, we now have a far more functional application than we did previously. You will see at the bottom of the screen telling us that the license is active. Isn't it sad that I'm having to license a free piece of software just because certain individuals want to spoil everything. Doing it this way adds an extra layer of security to the application. But in reality, I shouldn't have to do this. People stealing and doctoring software is going to hurt the industry long term, as less people will make software, and the only people that miss out then are the end users. So this application is really powerful. No Betfair data is stored in this application as previously. 
It is cleared down as soon as the program is closed. It is just a display tool for the here and now. I hope you found this useful. It's amazing what can be achieved when you put your mind to it rather than going around being fake and annoying everyone. Trading communities would be a much nicer place to be without this childish behaviour. This application is covered under the CGM Bet Confirmed Customers Plan. If you need more information, please visit us in the CGM Bet Discord server linked in the channel header. Don't worry, this is a nice Discord server. If you have any suggestions for improvement, please feel free to drop them to me in the comments. Thank you for watching.